Hello everybody, welcome to the final of my Blitz Pit Qualifier Group C up against Ruzi with his Wood Elves with a Tackle Dancer, a Strip Ball Dancer, three Block Catchers, Leader Thrower, one Reroll, one Apple. Um, obviously I've got the same team. Um, this is one minute turns so I will be try harding because it's not easy to talk and play in one minute. So. In the commentary box, we've got Gorilla Metzel, Flicky Flack, and Squirrel Dude. I'll leave you with all of those boys while I try to concentrate. Cheers. Thank, thank you, Jim, and good luck in your final. If he wins it this November, he will be in the Blitz Pit Tournament. That's a $1,000 US dollars the cash prize. Uh, but he's got to get through Ruzi's Wood Elves to do so. That's going to be a tall task, but let's see. Ruzi coming off of a 2 nothing win, uh, better known as a 3-1 pointless win with a bit of extra scoring after the game was long done. And Jimmy uh, beat the living pants off of a uh, pro elf team to get into this position. My name's Gorilla Metzel. Let's turn it over to Squirrel Dude and Flicky Flack, who looks like a literal fucking giant <laughs> in the picture that Jim put up, mm. making me look like a hobbit, but I basically am. So, how's it going, guys? Yeah, yeah, all good. Thank you, thank you. Um, beautiful intro, as always. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's about uh, the right size, isn't it, for my guy? With squirrel dude looking up at me in awe, like everyone else in the GFW does <laughs> yeah, yeah. weekly. He really is. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be looking at that all game now. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, looks like uh, we got Jim on defense. Does Nope. Yeah, Jim on defense to start, I think. Or is this an offense? I, I, I don't know what's happening here. That... Looks like a defensive setup from the Wood Elves. I can see that being yeah. a defensive setup. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. So he's doing the old hide the uh, hide the catcher. Let's see if Jim falls for it. It's become an incredibly common tactic on uh, Blood Bowl 2 because of the way the models work. I don't yep. know if it's that common in any other format or other um, client, for that matter. It seems to be a Blood Bowl 2 thing, hiding the catcher behind a tree. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Purple Chest. Do I not understand how any of this works? Because I believe that I don't. Uh, this is qualifying for a seat in the group stage. Oh, there's a group stage afterwards. Of course there is. Forgot about that, and then you got the 16. Yep, so everyone on YouTube listening to this, ignore everything I said and look for what Purple Chest said. Uh, it's way better. No <laughs> one should be surprised. And uh, Jim gets the ball safely in the hands. Now, interesting um, that he's going to carry on that blodger, not the sure hands. There is strip on the board. Yeah, absolutely. That's a uh, bit of a risk, isn't it? But uh, Jim was playing it real safe. Blodge is safer from, like, the tackle guys. So if you can just isolate the strip ball guy, it's safer... And also, you know, like random, like both downs aren't as t are much less damaging. So I think it's probably still safer yeah. in some ways on the ghoul. Because at least um, if Drip does come in, you're likely to still be standing up as compared to the sure hand school where you're actually got a pretty good chance of knocked down. So. Yeah, and, and Jim can play it pretty safe. And uh, if the ball is on the ground, he, you know, if the uh, if the mm -hmm. blodger with the ball gets knocked down, then that sure hands is there for a recovery uh, if something goes wrong, so fair enough, but I'd still be a little nervous. I don't know Rusi as a player. I don't know if he's just going to go balls to the wall and go right in. Uh, we'll see, but Jim, getting that tree down right off the bat, he's got to be happy about that. I mean, yeah. it's not the, it's not great 50-50, it just stands back up, but it's always good to get the trees, you know, not standing up in your way, so and not able to just like, blitz into the cage and start causing problems. Yeah, sometimes just one or two turns, if they don't roll that four plus, is all you need. Mm -hmm. And you can just get beyond it and play play past it, and then you're fine, aren't you? Undead, yeah, of it. course, also have the perfect player to just stick on it to a tree, and there you go. Yeah. Stick yeah. onto a tree and just tell you to leave. And oh boy, a take root on turn one. Oh, there you oh, go. Boy. And it's on the back. Will Here it also go. get up, though? Oh, the double <laughs> one. And there goes the tree oh. for a bit. 
And that's the um, tree for the drive. That tree is it, done. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Muppet bringing up a good point that zombie was put back there. I assumed to just kind of help out on a blitz, you know, with any pressure, but now he's uh, kind of lagging behind there and he will be for another turn after this. Ooh, and there goes a ghoul. Ooh, cocky out. Jim does have a bench, but, uh, you hate to see that. It's hard to replace a, a ghoul with a, a zombie. Yeah, zombies are uh, not adequate replacements for ghouls. Even, like, yeah, as Jim has said, like, skeletons can be, and, like, a poor man's ghoul, but even then, that's not really true. Ghouls are yeah, just calcium, calcium getting full credit, calling that ghoul being exposed, and then mm -hmm. instantly off the pish. Well done. Oh, yeah, you had to target that. It was the best, easily the best, yeah. easily the best yep. target for the uh, Wood Elf team. Still, and Jim is pretty happy. Like he's effectively got three removals for a turn, and the tree is probably going to be out for like the game if he can move quickly away from it quickly enough. So, still should be happy with the result, really. Yeah. And the uh, wood elves have no advantage, so every removal Jim gets is going to be very good if he can get some. Jim has a uh, mummy 3D on a catcher if he wants it. But I think... Uh... Let's see, it looks Can like he's going to move over to the right size instead. Yeah, could hit that lineman into the mummy for an extra block, maybe. Yep. Can he do that and make the second block a three dice block, too? I yeah. think so. Yeah, no reason why not. You just get, yeah, three across the front. Balls uh, he's Ball's still pretty safe. It looks like that is the plan here. Yeah, hits and 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 uh, getting uh, getting value for uh, the decision too. Unfortunately, can't make it a. Th Three dice. Yeah, not without, without a, GFI. a GFI. Yeah, he's not gonna do that. Mummy, uh, is the mummy gonna GFI now? No, mummy just backs off so that the tree's standing I'm, I'm, up. Oh, it's evil. irrelevant. Ooh, he's leaving a hole there to get a ghoul or a uh, zombie stranded. I mean, I don't think the um, whittles are gonna be really keen on like stranding a zombie. So yeah, yeah, fair enough. And uh, down stays the tree. Could go for a two dice blitz on this mummy, though, just to get it knocked down and, like, force Jim to, like, stall around here another turn. Looks like he's thinking about it. Stand up, doesn't dodge away instantly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we were talking about that earlier, Kilmatronics. I, I think the prevailing logic is that um, because there's also a tackler, it's actually better. It's slightly better numbers to have it on the blodger uh, than the uh, the strip with no. But I don't know that that's necessarily true. But regardless, it keeps the the, the sure hands free for helping with recovery when the blitz comes in on the uh, on the other ghoul, assuming the ball doesn't just get nipped away. Yeah, the important thing is that it's still... Um, it For one, if the blodge gets hit with stroke ball, he's still likely standing up to provide tackle zones on the recovery, and you also probably still have the sure hands player to pick up the ball that yeah. following turn. Yeah. Um, so the, the failure, the chance when you get knocked down is a little bit less bad. <laughs> Then if the strip, then if your sure hands gets knocked over by tackle, fifty percent of the yeah. time, and then it gets removed, he gets get stunned like one quarter of the time. He gets um one dice blocked. So, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't put money on uh, Jim forgetting about the a strip ball threat on a ward answer, Doctor Mavasco. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he 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 thought that one through as he was going into this game, um, and I think the only reason he did it though is because he had the. Um, he had the uh, the kickoff went out of bounds, so he got to place that ball um, rather than having to, you know, you know, getting the one and nine pickup with the free reroll from from sure hands. 
Yeah, it's um, it's really good logic the way you uh, you just explained it through there, Max. Um, it really does make perfect sense. Like sort of playing ahead of the game, just sort of trying to keep one step ahead of the woodies and um, making sure you can recover when the inevitable leaps do come. Yeah. I think if you had obliged your hands, it'd be on that, because at that point... <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. like, he doesn't, so... <clears throat> on to Blodge yeah. it goes. Yeah. But again, if the ball if the ball hadn't been a touchback, he would have gone for that pickup with the sure hands, for yeah. sure. Yeah, that's the other thing, is obviously, since he had basically a free um, pickup at that point, there's not really a reason not to go for the sure hands. Or not to go for the Blodge. There's no, um, it's no longer saving you a reroll on the pickup. Jimma! Jim might be uh, might be looking to bait in the no maybe not yeah. maybe he's closing it off. I was thinking he might be looking to bait in a uh, an early leap in. I mean, it is a leap one day, isn't it? Very yeah, little recovery. Yeah. And he, he oh, might be getting oh. it here. Yeah, oh, tree finally up. That might help commit the undead to this right side, but uh, we'll see what happens here. If he does come in on him right now, that could leave a lot of space downfield for Jim. Ooh, okay, never mind. For some reason, I forgot that uh, he has block on these uh, catchers. That is not. Yeah, I thought yeah. that was a. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So I saw both, and I'm like, oh no, it's, yep. no, it's fine. Yep, it's fine. Yeah, I did that. I did the exact same thing for a half second there. Yeah. Well, he's getting that catcher uh, three deed pretty much instantly. Well, not instantly, but <laughs> that's happening next turn. Mm-hmm. Base the sure hands so that it doesn't have um so it's hard for it to recover. I mean this yep. feels like it's gotta be yeah. the it's yeah, yeah it's here it comes around. strip coming in. This is where we're gonna see if this uh, strategy of Jim's pays off. He gets the oh, reroll no. out at least. And okay, now it's good. Here comes the one D, and he's got him. Dodge keeps everyone standing up though, and. uh and that scatter goes... is pretty great Very for safe. the undead. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. That is okay. And, yeah. And honestly, it's actually a pretty simple. The Shurians can just pick it up and stand there next turn, probably without like some leap shenanigans. It's probably okay. He just blitz off the Shurians, puts the guy off the Shurians guy, and then go pick it up with him, and he'll probably be fine. But now he'll be threatening, uh, yeah, leaps. Now the tackle guy is in position to threaten some leaps. And knowing Jim, his cogs are whirring. Can I get a surf on this dancer? The rest look good. Yeah. I and don't. The is yes, but probably not worth it. That's the answer with a lot of surfs. <laughs> yeah. You probably can, but this is not really something you want to be doing. Jim does, looks like he does forego the 3DB on the catcher instead, instead of just he. Mm. Okay, he is going to bring the yeah. zombie up to get it instead. Okay. Doesn't pay Suspicious. off, unfortunately, but he's gonna get in there. No, oh, he's yeah. not gonna move up. Man, he doesn't want to risk the hit on the on the mummy, I guess. And now this is the classic. Here's where Jim rolls a one and nine, and the ball goes yeah, out and lands yeah. lands in the hands of a catcher. Hmm. Lands in the hands of the catcher. He just pushed. Nice. Is what is what's gonna happen here? Wood elves choose not to use an apple on an M and Jade Lyman, which makes complete sense. Yeah, Woody's are fine with 10, aren't they? They don't start to worry until they start getting less than 8 or 9, I guess. Or when they lose a dancer. I mean, it's effectively a 10 on 10 right now, so they're okay with it anyway. Yeah. So he's got his pre-mid cage ready to get back into it. And he gets it. Who failed the first one, got the second one barely. Yeah, Ball sure is has. safe in that cage again. And now that uh, stripper is going to get hit here and push. <laughs> mm. Keeping him, uh, keeping him based up though. And there is guard on that side, which shuts down uh, two squares for the leap in. Really shuts down all those back squares because it's kind of hard to cancel those tackle zones. Well, it's not impossible, I guess. Yeah, he can just dodge yeah. away the linemen to base the two ghouls and then leap in for the, the strip. And now this is a danger. Oh, wait, actually, no, the strip doesn't matter now because it's on the sure hands. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so now the tackler just going right for it. 
And he doesn't get him. Oh, he does get him. He does get him. Shit. I was thinking that was the ball chair. I'm all over the place. And now, where's this ball going to go? This is going to be huge. Oh, not bad for Jim. Now what? What is that dancer staying there? Because now he really is in the. Well, he doesn't want to make a three plus against tackle. No, I gotta believe. Not. So Jim might be able to get some vengeance for losing his ghoul to a KO there. Yeah. Uh, but that could he again. This is more about the ball, doesn't he? Yeah, this is always a a bit hairy from Jim's point of view because at any point these uh, yeah, he's gonna scatter again here. No, yeah. he's not. Reroll coming out. Reroll comes out, and he still doesn't scatter it. Nice. Ooh, that's a nice break for Jim. And that's all the rerolls gone. Yep. Jim still has. That's four. gonna that lack of rerolls is gonna really make leaps a whole lot spookier for him, because Absolutely. suddenly it's not a, it's not a one in nine to get a hit on the ball. It's gonna be one in three. Yeah. Chances and to fail, and just suddenly you've got a. Not only is it failure, you failed with your ward answer oh. in a cage next to zombies, and that's never right. uh, never tons of fun. So now things are looking uh, things are looking sticky, but they're looking up for Jim. He's got four rerolls and four turns here. Just needs to recapture this ball and get it a bit safe. But he could maybe pop one of these war dancers out and uh, feel pretty good about himself. That stripper is now prime target A because the uh, sure hands are off the pitch. Might just be going for the surf here, though. I can see it. I mean, it's not. Yeah, I don't think he yeah. has it really. I mean, he doesn't he have the guards it. at mommy's to get it done. Ooh, so. He gets the pow on the on the stripper. Nice. And he's he's fine. But yeah, we're definitely gonna see this other ward answer. The tackler's going off the pitch most likely. Yeah, get that one off. Oh, that's unfortunate. Doesn't clear yeah. the ball there. Can't follow to cheer now either. Needs that. Needs that corner held. Uh, maybe now he isn't going for the surf. He still can with the zombie um, blocking the yeah. ward answer down yeah. and following for the assist. I think he needs the power first. So he's just going to leave the ball on the ground? Would have well, been a nice he's got um, the what else have no rerolls. And they're yep. about. It looks like they're going to be likely to be down a war dancer. Um, nope. So. <laughs> no, they're not. Oh, but this this at least frees up his white now. Oh no! Well, his white's no. Nah, he's still best. Yeah. Oh, and he fails the dodge. He can reroll it. Might as well reroll here. Oh, Doesn't no. get the pick up. Oh going? no! This is going. Oh, oh the zombie ball. Don't know if he loves that, but it's better than it having scattered the yeah. other way right to that catcher. Yeah. Oh, that scatter could have been disastrous. Uh, oh, that yeah. Scatter that scatter could have been truly, truly disastrous. Yep, absolutely. Both dancers down. He's got tackle next to it. He's got guard next to it. He's got some ghouls in the area. It's not horrible. The, the two easy squares in are against guard, too. So he's... Yeah. Uh, he doesn't have a sure thing here, but it's not. Ah, oh, well, that's, we really him. needed that not to be the uh, the pal. Yep. Well. Oh, oh the KO2. Now he can Oh, uh, that now opens up the square. Yep. I was going to say, I don't know if he should have followed there, but he I guess he kind of had to. actually yeah. still struggles to get a 2D on the ball without some more dodging. Uh, not, oh, that's a so catcher there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but the catcher just comes around. So now oh. I think the dancer does it, though the dancer has to. Yeah. You no, know, the dancer can cut a corner with a dodge. Um, yeah, if yeah. It doesn't exactly. Pop immediately. But then it's yeah, not so where it it to push to, is it? It's still not. Well, maybe this could end up in one tackle <laughs> zone, which is a huge win for the. Uh... Did oh, a GFI there, there for no reason. Didn't need to yeah. do a GFI there at all. That should have yeah. been cut, cut the corner there, but... Here comes the bad scatter. Yep, here we come go. On, oh, back. no, two tackles on. Got lucky there. If that had been a one tackle zone, this was GG. Because that, that, that catcher was going to end up with it. Mm. <laughs> oh, no good. Interesting. <laughs> Oof. Hey, Looks like we're going to go for another scatter attempt with a 1D. So with that... I think no, he's gonna two. I, I thought he was gonna four plus pick it up. Yes. 
No. And get away. Damn. Get next to that tree. Ooh, um, this is... These GFIs are pretty... That's a bold GFI. I don't know if that one was necessary, but... Got it. And G Jim is in some trouble here. He can react. For yeah, he can blitz that him. catcher with the mummy. Stop being shit. Needs to cancel a couple of assists first. Here he comes. GFI to cancel the assists. Yep. He's got to bring this ghoul back, though, too. I think the ghoul has to stay for recovery. Oh, no, the ghoul's the recovery, actually. The ghoul's got to stay yeah. there and recover, yeah. Okay, Whew. 3D with reroll. Oh, it's yep. not the tree, so 2D with reroll. He would need to cancel the tree, wouldn't he? Yeah, he can't really free anyone nah. else up. It's got to be a 2D. 2D yeah. on a blodger. Yeah. You don't love these odds. Neither coach super happy with this, to be honest. No one trusts Blood and they're going to get by it, and everyone. Oh, he gets it. Yeah. Gets it on oh. the reroll. Breaks armor for the KO. Oh, yeah. Massive, massive break. Uh, the bounce. <laughs> that would have been a nice catch by the mm. And the, uh, the ghoul can recover here, but it's going to yeah. take some dice. Yeah. Go get it, ghoul. Oh, he's not even trying. He's just screening. Oh, but the dancer. The da and and the uh, <laughs> and the tree man, yeah. But maybe he can get both these dancers on their asses though. He does not. <laughs> All right. Well, these elves are gonna have some dice to roll, but ooh, this is looking this is looking tragic. And down goes the mummy first try. Yep. Oh. oh no! I think that's a regen though. It was, it was a regen. So yeah, I think, oh god. I mean, Jim's got to be thinking that this drive's over, he just has to try and get in nil-nil now. KO rolls are going to be really huge going forward at this point. Absolutely. He's going to have to try and power, power Blodger a second time, but I think there might be a, with a bunch of three pluses, there's a fair few screens in here. Yeah. To stomp this. If one of these early ones fail, though, there's a chance to get Wrestle out there to the ball. I think we're going to see every single one of these coming. Yeah, <laughs> yeah sadly. Which, I mean, I guess it, it doesn't really doesn't really matter without the reroll. <laughs> I guess it kind of does. I guess you stop. Yeah, yeah you fail the first one, don't you? And then you dodge, you're yeah. in a bit of trouble. He doesn't move anyone else. Interesting. Can that... Jim can't get him down there, but the the wrestle is free now for a one D. Don't think he wants to risk any other dice to make it a two D. No, he is going to base him up, so he must be coming with tackle. He's going to three plus away with tackle and then make some GFIs. Looks like it. Seems like a reasonable play at this point. Yeah. There any other options? Up Run the, <laughs> the zombie, zombie down. Zombie score threat, baby. Yeah, go, baby, go. In it to win it. Oh, he makes the dodge. Here we go. Oh, Come fails on. the first GFI. Come on. And the third one. The second one. Damn. Well, no, that yeah. was his third. That was his third GFI roll. Oh. Because he failed one, he succeeded one, then he failed one. Yeah. Sure. But yes, his second GFI. <laughs> All right. Well, it looks like Jim's about to get scored on here. Ooh, well, that kind of helps. Now it's just the two plus away. I don't know why that blitz happened. I'm not sure what that, I guess the blitz is so that he can free up the catcher to have a second scoring threat. Or yeah. the scoring catcher up with him. Makes sense. Wood elves are pretty good. Wood elves are a Wood pretty elves good team. Are pretty good. Yeah, I mean you can't 
You can't really. I mean, Rusi didn't do anything wrong here, you know. Like no, Rusi yeah. played a really yeah, solid played him, drive. Played, played him quite well. Jim, may, Jim may be a little unlucky with a few of those a uh, few of those blocks when everything was all bundled up. But uh, you know, this is exactly what this this team is supposed to do to win, and it did. Yeah, it. yeah absolutely. Just one of those games where it went the wood elsewhere, but it's still only the first half. You know, we've all seen it before. Jim is more than good enough to turn this one around and draw 1-1. Yeah. Well, Jim does have dice on the ball. <laughs> Not – oh, now he doesn't. No, he's uh, – no, now Jim doesn't no. have dice. No, no that was no. the square. Yeah. So I think right now Jim's got to try and get more elves off the pitch to uh, aid yeah. his defense here. And he's he does have a few hits on offer, so yeah, yeah, three D this um, lineman can hit the leader with uh, with the wrestle. Mm -hmm. Leader would be a nice get for the next yeah, half. Absolutely. So well, there's first one with no break. I kind of wanted to see that tackler hit the uh, tackle or dancer. But I don't know how he would have made that a 2D super easily. 3D blitz. Does Jim... Let's say, if, would Jim have considered taking them both down there if he rolled it again? But we're not going to find out. I'd like to think so. And uh, there it is, one nothing to the Elves. Let's see some KOs here. Jim's got two to roll, one of them pretty critical. All right, well, both of them critical. And then uh, one on the other side. Jim failed them both, and so did Ruzi. Oh. Those are probably worse results for Jim. Yeah. Jim would probably rather yeah. have oh, yeah. every single player come back than uh, oh, no yeah. one come back. Yep. That's yep. Jim's pretty crushing. Jim is at nine against eight. This is one guard out as well. Yeah. Two of his goals are out now. Uh, we might we might be uh, praying for a blitz here on Jim's behalf. Yeah, absolutely, Muppet Pac Man. You hate to see it, and yet so often we do see it. We see it all the time. Yeah, Calcium, we've seen you do this with Wood Elves all season in SFL. It is what they do. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Muppet. I was just thinking about that. <laughs> I think both coaches played well, though. I don't think there was any big mistakes. I don't think there was any panics at the end of turns. I think there were... Oh, boy. So, oh, here we go. Did this oh, do boy, oh, boy. That could maybe do something. Oh, if that leader throw was down. <gasps> yeah, yeah. That would have had us very interested. Oh, boy. And suddenly there are no word answers for a turn, and there is just one mm -hmm. catcher. <laughs> yeah. And also, I'd like to point out, now, this is minor, but that uh, that remaining zombie on the LOS cannot be 2 d <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Good spot. Yeah, this is probably the right call by Rusi. Just kind of fall back <laughs> get the yeah. ball. I'd just like this to say, is, uh, never fucking lucky, right? Look at this. Yeah, fucking three yeah. players down on a six. Versus four players down on a four. What a fucking joke. <laughs> uh, that, was our, that was our sideline commentator, Jimmy <laughs> Min Max Nastic, weighing in. Oh, hey. yeah, there's a hell of a... Jim, Jim just needs to get all of his opponents to 1D, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> because that's how you get a player advantage. 1D turn one. That's yep. turn on your offense. Yeah. 1D, Jim. Right, well, on. you got this. If Jim, if Jim had more of a team here, he could have something going. But uh, this is still a pretty tall out, task. This is maybe the worst tree we've seen in like months. 
This tree is terrible. <laughs> the tree has done nothing, yes. Tackle oh, the shit. On. And come on, pushes. <laughs> Gotta send that wrestle goal downfield, I think. I mean, there's not actually really a good option here. This is the thing with PI is that Jim, like, both coaches lose. Like, it's actually probably worse overall for defense because you, you just, you stay losing your first turn advantage, but now you have, like, no movement the following turn. I like hitting, the, I like the foul here. Yeah. I need to try and get something going. Gem foul. I was I was just confronted by my fiance whose name is Tree, wondering why we kept shouting about the terrible tree. <laughs> <laughs> the dangers of playing Blood Bowl. I yeah, apparently. She's like, I oh you're you're commentating. I thought you were calling my name. No. <laughs> <coughs> Oh, did Jim throw a foul last turn? Yep. He did. Jim fouled. Oh, Jim fouled, of course. He got he got a stun, but um, he didn't. He really needed a removal for that foul to be worth it with the sun. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of looking at uh, thinking about fouling the uh, the ward answer there, and I was like, ah, I don't think he can with that few players. That tree standing up finally might have been at a pretty good time for it because that's going to tie up three zombies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jim's going to have to probably do uh, one stand up and then have the other ones dodge out at the end of the turn to, or yeah. try and get away. Yeah, I think so. Nope, mm. he's going to hit it. Maybe he's going to hit it? Is stand uh, firm the king of skills that we've all been told it is? <laughs> we all know exactly how this is going to play out for Jim. Like, we oh, all know four pushes. What, Quad what's pushes. coming here. Yeah, here come the pushes. Let's go. Yep. Unbelievable. Oh, no, he gets Jeff. him. Gets him. Stand firm. Made up skill. Yeah, I like that he hit the, with the ghoul as well, because then he could move a bit further afterwards, and on the push he can dodge out with, uh, with the reroll. I quite like that it was the ghoul that made the hit. The issue Jim obviously has is the Wood Elves are going to be happy to just, like, fuck about in the backfield. Mm. Like, well, they, they you, don't care. Your uh, halftime speech about the tree really motivated it. I know. It's, it's standing up and doing <laughs> things and providing an assist. Congratulations, tree. You're doing a job. You're like a lineman. <laughs> cool. The tree is a frustrating piece. There's just a lot of matchups where it's just not very good. This one it's actually okay in, but like I think everyone's played with like big guys versus elves. They're just the most frustrating pieces of shit ever because they just do nothing. Aha, I've ah, I know. Look at you. I based you now. Now you have to dodge on a two plus. Great. <laughs> cool. Thanks. Thanks, big guy. You're really helping out here. Slightly yeah. less frustrating than having prehensile tail and thinking maybe that might help you against elves and then having it have no effect anyway. Haha, <laughs> -ha, I've made them use their dodge skill. Oh, look at me. I'm so good. Thanks, Prince Tail. You're great. Are we going to see a, a mummy dodge? Um, nope. nope. <laughs> ain't nothing to dodge against. <laughs> Alright. I mean, I actually kind of like the reroll here. I mean... Yeah, it's yeah. not great for OT, um, but he's just playing to score in two turns. So, yeah, absolutely. and that forms the cage and denies any chance for an easy one dice on the ball. Relatively yeah, easy, that is. He's in a great position where re rolls are, are very, very valuable at just getting the score. No longer valuable yeah. for overtime. Mm -hmm. God, yeah, I'm dead when they lose their goals. They are so slow. It's painful. A force de traîner dans les cimetières, on se forme un physique d'athlète. 
Now, bear in mind, and this is something that I've set up before, this Agility 1 dodge, exactly as good as an Agility 3 dodge if you wanted to go for it. Yep. Because of the way the math works in this game. Yep. And no one would say it was crazy if he's doing an Agility 3 dodge, so... Yeah, no, I mean, yep, yeah, I, I don't... Uh, I don't hate, you know, when you're in that situation now, he would have had to GFI there too, I think. But uh... mm -hmm. Yeah, he would have had to do a GFI to hit. And, it's a... and I think, honestly, the pushes there weren't really good. Oh, hey, mommy. Good yeah. job. Speaking, speaking of mummies making GFIs. Hmm. Mummies aren't so great when they're having to actually use their movement. It's one of their, turns out, movement three, not so great. Yeah, Jim, Jim basically needed the snakes. <laughs> he didn't get it yeah. there. He gave himself that that chance though, didn't he? Yeah, maybe a one, maybe a one is in uh, Rusi's uh, future here, but that's about all the gym has on offer. Yeah, he needs um of yeah, these he... like three upcoming dodges for them to be snakes a couple yeah. of times. Oh, oh. styling on that one. I don't know if that dodge was actually necessary. No, that's I don't the think last it was. one. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't. So you can just get in front with a war dancer and or fill in behind with a war dancer if you needed yeah. to. No. So gonna have a cage dive. I mean it's gotta happen. Yeah, you just go, go in, with the tackle. Go in, yeah, dive. go in with the tackler here and because the goal can't get there, you just dodge. Yeah. You hope for it scatters out of bounds and then you uh pick it up with the ghoul. You want it to scatter down towards your two ghouls. Towards the center is pretty bad. Um, up into the end zone is pretty bad. So there's only one, one good scatter direction um, yeah. out of bounds. So um, maybe it just scatters infield, and you can get your ghouls around it again. Um, that's the other option. That's the only option. Other option you have. Probably get that. Yeah, get the zombie into the little pocket there. That makes sense. Then let's roll a six. Yeah. Whole game comes down to six plus five plus. Nope. He got the five. But a and little late. And, he, and KOs himself. Yeah, of course he does. Yeah, that's that's going to be the game. All really right. unfortunate. Over. Yeah, really unfortunate loss there, Jim. Sorry. Yeah, Bad luck, Jim. Wasn't a lot I could do about it, was there? He just rolled the dice he needed. He got the leaps in, and then he what? He got a fourth down on the guy without block, and a push on the guy with strip. So, yeah. Yep. You know. Yeah, absolutely. If those dice had been the other way around, I don't lose the ball either either time. And then that four plus pickup was key, wasn't it? That was where you um, where the ball got away from you. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, that was pretty unlucky. <laughs> uh, so your... Was your game the same? I... Did he just come in what? and get the ball off Hold you? Hold up, wait, what? Why is he stalling? Why? Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. I guess he thinks Jim can score twice, which I mean he can, technically. Yeah, yeah Jim I can think, score twice. I think so... he should have scored though. <laughs> and he pushes the goal closer to the ball. Okay, yeah, okay. thank you. That's All nice of it. Alright. Yeah, I got out bashed. Plus, I got out bashed by plus. elves. Let's go. That's Let's fun, go. isn't it? Yeah. Getting out bashed by elves. Classic the the no day. KOs wake up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah if, 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 if you're undead and you get outbashed by elves, it's bad times, isn't it? Especially when it's not even the tree involved in the outbashing either. <laughs> yeah. right, I'm going to do all these rolls. Go. No. Go, go, go. <laughs> instant, instant snake eyes. <laughs> yeah. Anarian snakes. Yeah. Uh, hey Jim, how much thought did you put into uh, at the start of the game the uh, the non-strip versus uh, strip, or excuse me, the non-sure hands versus sure hands carrier when you had that uh, touchback? Uh, oh, because well, you've got the you've got the sure hands pickup, haven't you? If it goes wrong, that's the thing. Yep. Yeah. So that was that was why I uh, did it that way. Um, can I can't do anything here. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, Jim, you can't. <laughs> Alright, four four plus, five plus, six plus, uh minus two dice block. Uh easy. No, screw screw that, can't you just go with the uh the zombie and make two sixes? 
Yeah. And a GFI? No, you can't make the GFI apparently, so. There we go, look. We can get the 1D now. <laughs> no. He oh. almost got there too. <laughs> almost got oh, it. <laughs> If the five and six were reversed, you would have actually gotten a block on him somehow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like, this all feels way more odds than just scoring and the game is over. Yeah. 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 Like, well, hey, Jim, you won two straight games of Blitz Pit this time through, <laughs> and don't let anyone try and tell you otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is he going to surf his catcher now for a laugh? <laughs> <laughs> After the last game, probably. <laughs> he's going to take every turn, he's going to do every block. Yeah, he is. He's surfing his catcher. <laughs> Dickhead. <laughs> Wait, that doesn't, that doesn't cause a turnover? No, no. no, unless you've got the ball. <laughs> I feel like it should. Yeah. It doesn't. It actually doesn't cause a turnover if you have the ball in Blood Bowl 2. It should, but it doesn't. <laughs> Because uh, I had somebody do that. <laughs> oh, cyanide coding. <laughs> Jim, you should player. set up and try and score here. You can two turn. Um, I could one turn and then get a blitz, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Might as well try it. KO's come back. Um, so KO dice were actually fine. You know, two oh, out yeah. of Forward. five. I look forward to your 10 person movement six one turn oh sorry movement seven with no frenzy and against a stand firm player <laughs> <laughs> stuff of legends right here jim maybe just put the ball up and hope it's a, <laughs> a kick back a touch back Um, I like the first one just because he really embraced the uh, he really embraced the blitz pit format by getting done with the game almost instantaneously. Satterfield. No, well, he's got a re-roll. Now so things are really coming chance. together. They're oh, they're really coming together for him right now. Oh, baby. Here we go. <laughs> Dare to dream, folks. Dare to dream. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> Dreams crushed. Come on. One I, don't know. I don't know what he can do from here. <laughs> the ghoul dodges out to fill the square, and then um, he... Uh, uh, and, uh, How's he gonna fill that square though? <laughs> okay, so the zombie moves up a square yeah. into the right. Um, or yeah, up a square into the right, and then the ghoul comes around, and then he gets blocked. The lineman gets blocked by the um, mummy. And then what about the uh, the other t two pushes we need? Fuck, well, I know. I I, I don't do movement <laughs> seven one turns. So I just give up on them like every time I can. <laughs> yep. It's oh, also well, like Jim, a push. Jim, so Jim not forced to have to think about this too much longer. So no. There we go. There you the go. Respect foul, foul in. Doesn't Not even Jim a death. It? Might as well throw him the ball. Actually, don't, because that'll encourage him to Fuck. try and score. <laughs> 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 fucking ghouls. Yeah, they got like they got they got removed every time they got hit. And also, to be fair, I did make a mistake. I set up wrongly, didn't I? So I had the uh, I had this fucking zombie in my backfield for no reason. That was a mistake. And then yeah, that, that was a mistake. That, we were wondering. We were wondering about that. Yeah, and that meant that the blodger got exposed on turn one, and then got instantly cast. So I got absolutely max punished for putting that guy in the wrong fucking place. I thought it yeah. was weird, like I didn't have enough men. I thought, well, it feels like I don't there. have enough men here when I was setting up, but I didn't fucking think to like just look at the field. 
fuck's sake. So yeah, if I'd, if, I'd, if I'd spotted that, then my ghoul wouldn't have got hit, and then it would have been a zombie cast instead, wouldn't it? Which would have been... It's uh, still not quite as funny as when uh, you were playing against Calcium's Norse, and Calcium decided against Wood Elves, like, you know what? I'll just leave my tackle off the field on this draft. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then he made seal noises. <laughs> That was all right. I mean, that, that sells, isn't it? You can't stop them rolling their three pluses at the end of the day. No. It wasn't. And soon you won't be able to stop them from rolling four pluses. It will be a totally different team. Now that now that this is four and the three. No one will do it. No one will make leaps ever again. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least, look, at least you can make it harder, right? At least at least there's more, you've got more urgency. Like, it actually was hard knocking over the tree on the first turn because then I was squashed up and I wasn't able to really get, like, you know, the anti-leap cages going ever really it was it was tough maybe i should have done it i don't know maybe i should have been more conservative but then you've got to break forward as well haven't you and i had to get away from the tree but maybe i shouldn't have let him leap in for one days it's know. hard what else can it's very hard to make it so the widows don't have the opportunity to leap in for a 1d it's actually pretty hard to do that yeah, it is. Um, it, well, it's easy to do if you don't want to score, right? If you yeah, just if you have yeah. zero ambition to actually break through with the line and score, then it's easy to do. But if you actually want to try and score, it's hard. It's hard to move forward and protect it. And obviously, cut or half the field was cut off by the tree, which is why the tree is good. But um, yeah, it was just annoying that he got all the dice he needed, wasn't it? Like he got the board down against the guy without block, and he got the push when he did it with a strip. So. That was kind of unlucky, I think. If, the, if those, those two blocks had been the other way around, then he could have ended up with a surfed, a surfed, uh, a surfed dancer and not much else. But instead, didn't happen. Fair play to him. Congrats, Roozy Who. Um, thank you very much, Squirrel Dude, Flicky Flack, and Girl Ametso. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>